So that's not winning me over here. It's not winning me over. No. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Allison if this is your first time here. In today's video we are going to find out if Ivy Rose on Instagram is legit. I recently started following Ivy Rose on Instagram a few weeks back. I'm not gonna lie, their promotion post kept catching my eye. I kept clicking on the little shop now thing, checking out their site. They have really cute stuff. They do have almost like 700,000 followers on Instagram, so. but you never know. They could be fake followers, but they do get a lot of likes. It seems like they get a lot of good engagement on their posts. I finally ordered some stuff. I figured if I'm wondering certain things about this Instagram boutique, I don't online boutique, I don't know what you really want to call it, but if I'm wondering things, I'm sure some other people are wondering the same stuff. So what you see here today is my complete first impressions. I'm going to try everything on for you guys, even if I don't like how it fits on me, I'm going to try it on because the whole purpose of this video is to see if this online store is legit. If you want to see what I got from Ivy Rose, then make sure you keep on watching. Okay, here are all the items that I purchased. I know it looks like a lot, right? I did buy basically eight outfits. So. Okay, first thing we are going to check out is spaghetti strap dress. It's really freaking cute. From what I can see, it looks in really good condition. I think this might be oh, the winner for us. Woo! Because real quick, let me get into the shipping. The shipping did take quite a while. It took at least like 17 days from the day I ordered till the day it got here. Let's keep in mind, this stuff is coming from China, you guys. So if you are going to shop on like an Instagram online store most likely it's coming from China so just be ready for that and that's why we don't know if they're always legit because yeah you already know okay so this is a cute little summer type dress but really it's fall because we're gonna dress it up with a little jacket and stuff you know I thought they were cherries I was gonna say cherries but they're not cherries they're little flowers there's no padding in the bra area but so far this looks really cute Next, another dress. I told you guys, I bought all dresses just because I had a vision of my mind of some things I wanted to style. Okay, this, this looks really big. I bought smalls and everything. But what I like about this here is it has detail right here so you could tie it up to make it almost like a little slit dress. Um, but we'll just see, we'll play around with it when we put it on seems a lot bigger than the other two small dresses that I ordered. I don't know. Okay, this is so cute. I'm gonna have to look at the picture. So the ruffle is like upside down. And I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I think it is supposed to be like that, but it just like looks weird because I don't think I noticed that when I was looking at it online. But, oh my God, this is a two piece set and I thought it was, um a dress what this is hilarious see this is why I love an uh, unboxing I did not know that it was blue so I definitely thought that it was gray and black and white so this is a cute little skirt though I like that it is high-waisted but again I thought this outfit was a dress oh my god this is literally wow like I feel so catfished right now because this is literally a button-down freaking shirt with a skirt. I thought it was a low cut dress. <laughs> I am shook. So this right here is a two piece set. I knew that going in. Again, I'm gonna have to find the picture to refresh my memory on what it's supposed to look okay. like. So I think that this is ties right here. This is the top. Super cute little with a little lace flower detail. Love it. And then here is the skirt that goes with it super cute oh my god down to the last two outfits they're both more like nighttimey outfits so why did i have to prepare you for that i don't know hopefully i can put up the pictures of all these outfits so you guys can see what they're supposed to look like on the site and then what they're going to look like on me and in person 
and then this is like the little corset piece that you're gonna wrap around right here right oh that oh that's small okay when you get stuff so much later it's like how what does this look like and why did i want to get it moment definitely looking more like the picture this like a suit vibe okay cool overall i think i am pretty satisfied with the first impression let's get into our first outfit okay guys here is the dress that i was unsure of the one that i thought looks a little bit bigger first off let me just say i'm loving this dress i am loving it it's not skin tight it's a little the little loose it feels really light but not cheap when it feels when it's on it doesn't feel as cheap as when i just pulled it out of the bag i'm loving it and then I tied the little thing right here and I went up girl because that's my vibe I like to show a little skin here we have the next dress and this is the one that I knew was going to be super super skin tight and that's exactly what it is I just feel like that the top part of the dress and the straps are just not well thought out it is long enough I actually have it pulled up like just a little bit because you already know the vibe Okay, here's this dress. <laughs> this is my least favorite so far. I'm not feeling this at all. I just feel like it's making me look real wide. Real waist wide. Okay. Yeah, I don't... Mm -mm. Yeah, no, this is not it for me. I would really have to... <sighs> like a belt something like that oh i mean that looks kind of cute right let me know what you guys think about this dress in the comments okay because sis all right i'm here for my tennis match that i never registered for so wish me luck i just don't even know how to feel about this little outfit that i have um going on right here so I have some feelings on this outfit. Just okay. pulling it out of the bag earlier, first impression, I was like, oh, this isn't really like what I thought. As I have it on, this part right here definitely does look very similar to their picture on Instagram. This whole little like corset thing with all of the same material isn't really working for me. If I was to wear this out for like a whole night, I would be so uncomfortable all night because everything would be moving around. This thing is not even tight enough right now as it is and I feel it getting loose as I'm moving around. Um, it is making my butt look really big so I do like that. It's super cute. I do like it. It's just very uncomfortable. Too much maintenance. Would always be worried about okay is something out of place or I need to go retie this, tighten this. Okay. Here we have this second black outfit. This, um, I feel like this is like a medium, not a small. I mean, it looks very similar to the picture, but it's just not like cinching the waist for me. Like it's very, like there's a lot of room up in here. So it's just way too big. Is it worth it to even try to send it back? Like, I don't know. Okay, and we got mixed feelings about this one, okay? I didn't do a little tie thing down here. I can't even figure it out. Okay, this, what I also don't understand is like the whole like boob thing. I'm not gonna take my bra off to try to figure it out yet, but it's like, is there supposed to be a pad in there and it's sitting up like that? Like what? is that and i know like it's supposed to be down here but i i just don't i'm just confused i, I don't understand the concept here the rest of the fit like this just is not going away like even when i go like that it's still yeah 
I'm so disappointed in this one because it looked so cute in the picture. Here is the last outfit. Here are my thoughts. I do like the top, but the strap should come to like here, but it's literally, it's like so weird and it feels weird like when you're moving around and stuff. So I don't like that about the top. The skirt is very loose, but I do like the skirt. I, I could definitely still pull it off. Don't look at my black underwear. It has a little cute little ties right here. So I love that little detail. I do love the flower lace detail on the straps. I just don't really like the fit of the skirt is all, but I could still make it work. It's not like this outfit completely sucks. So in conclusion, what do we think about these eight outfits I got from Ivy Rose? I think I am about 50-50 on how I feel about all of them. Do I think Ivy Rose is legit? I don't think it's 100% legit. I think all boutiques have their issues with some clothes, you know, coming out really good and some others have issues. Awesome. Would I order again from Ivy Rose? I would be very, very selective if I was to order from them again. If someone was going to ask me if they should purchase something from Ivy Rose, I would actually recommend just go to Fashion Nova and get something from Fashion Nova. You're going to get it way faster. It might be better quality. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on Ivy Rose. Is it legit? I don't know. Am I going to buy it again? Probably not. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Make sure you follow me on all my socials. I'll have everything linked down below. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, drop me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And right at the end of the video, we have a little visitor. Aww. Everyone meet Kiki. This is my daughter. Aww. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!